And today's presentation is on Groupon, which is a great discount or coupon website. So of course, to start off, what is Groupon? Groupon is a website that finds businesses in your area and can give you anywhere from a 40% to 90% discount towards the products you're buying. You might be wondering what you can actually buy on this site. You can use the platform in order to get discounts on anything that you can imagine. This includes services such as spa days, things like gym memberships, restaurants, and museums are some of the more popular deals offered, though there are also things that we're going to show um, that are discounted items. There are some benefits of Groupon. Firstly, customers get savings and discounts that they would usually not get anywhere else. The daily deal can also save a customer up to 70% of the original cost of the service or the product, which is a very large percentage. And also, Groupon is a great way to try out a new activity, something that you're interested in, a product or service at a discounted price. There are also some limitations of Groupon that come with the benefits. If you attempt to buy a deal without meeting the purchase criteria in the fine print, such as the ones listed here that I will go over, you may encounter some trouble at checkout or you may not be able to use your Groupon with the merchant. The different kinds of criteria that you may run into include new clients only, offer is not eligible for Groupon promo codes or other discounts, there's a limit to one per person. It is only valid for option purchased and you may be want to repurchase every 90 days if you want to repurchase a deal with this restriction and then you will have to wait the amount of time specified. So there are things such as time requirements as well as other promotional things as well. Now I will go over how to actually sign up for Groupon. You're going to want to sign up. So you can do so um, by entering your email address, but you can also do so following another process, which we will go over. And if you didn't see the first screen pop up, then you can sign up by clicking on no worries. And then on the top right-hand corner of the screen, you will see an icon that says sign up. It is outlined here in the pink circled and you will see it on the screenshot. From there, you just want to input your information in the spaces provided, such as your email, your password, name, and then you will confirm the password as well. And you can also click on this box in order to agree to the terms of use and privacy statement of the platform. Then complete the process by clicking on the green sign up button. Next, I will go over the functionality of the site. Firstly, finding deals. Once you've logged into your account, you will be taken to the home page and it will look similar to this screenshot, though it may look slightly different as the website updates and evolves. Depending on your location, the page will also look a little bit different for everybody. If you look at the top of the homepage, you should see a search bar that says search Groupon. This is the search engine for the website. For example, if you typed in restaurant to the website, it will show you the deals on restaurants in the area. So this is where you can search keywords to find services and products that you're interested in. At the top of the screen, there is also a categories drop down menu option. This divides their deals into categories based on the type of business being run. If you wanted a discount on a new sofa, you would click the home and garden category. So there are some not sorted 
products and services that you may have trouble finding in certain categories. For example, the sofa, um, you might not think to look in the garden section, but there are also the home products as well. So you can use the search engine in order to search for something more specific if you're having trouble finding it in these different categories. There is another method of searching for deals in the categories dropdown. Local will show you discounts towards businesses in your area if you're just looking for something nearby. Goods will show you discounts on items specifically. And coupons will give you online codes for coupons towards popular retail stores. Now I will go over how to actually get the discount. Underneath the description of each item is a price that has been crossed out and replaced with a lower price. The crossed out price is how much the item used to cost, and the new green price is the discount that Groupon offers. Once you find the deal that you're looking for, you can simply click on it to find more information. Remember to always read the fine print in order to make sure you are eligible for the product or service. Once you click on it, it will take you to a page that looks similar to this screenshot. Underneath of the buy button, you may again see the previous value of the item, as well as the percent discount you're receiving and the amount of money you're saving as well. So there's lots of great information on this page. You may also see the limited time remaining icon. The deals that you purchase will not expire. This just means that the offer is almost ending. And once you are ready to purchase the item, you will want to click on the buy button. It is the green large button here just below the price. After you click on buy, you will be taken to a payment information page. You want to fill out your information in the space provided, and once you're finished, then you can click on complete order here, this blue button at the bottom. There's also a Groupon application. In order to get this app, you can click on get the Groupon app and enter your phone number to receive a link to download it to your smartphone. You can also download the app by going to the App Store or Google Play Store, depending on if you have an Apple device or an Android device, and then you can search Groupon into the search bar. Here is a screenshot from the part of the website that you can get the Groupon app. I will also show this in the live demonstration, but you would just type in your phone number here and then click on send link. And another important note is that tablet users can also get the application as well. And if you do not have a phone number or iMessage associated with your tablet, then you can always just go into the App Store or Google Play Store directly. So now I will be going into a live demonstration of the site. And if you want to, you can always follow along or you can look into it more at another time as well and just watch as I go through the site. So the first step is to type groupon.com into your search bar and I've already done so. And once you click on enter, this is the page that comes up for me. I am in Canada. Um, so it may look different if you are in the States or somewhere else as well. And once you're here, you will want to go to the top right hand corner in order to sign up. So you see this button here at the top, it says sign up and you would just click on it. And from there, you can either go to the I have an account category if you already have one and you can just sign in. Or if you're a new customer and you're just starting for the first time, you would want to go to I'm a new customer, put in your full name, email and password, and then you also um, can choose these selections. So if you always want to keep yourself signed in, if you want them to email you, and then you also have to agree to the terms of use and privacy statement. Alternatively, you can sign up with Facebook or Google, whatever is best for you. 
But for the purpose of this presentation, I will just sign in with the account and we can look into the products a bit more. So once you're signed in, this is the main page of the website. And you can scroll down to see trending deals for you that they're recommending. If you haven't been on the site before, it will be more general recommendations and things that you may not necessarily be interested in just because they haven't really um, gotten in any information from what you're searching up or from the categories that you're looking at. So you can continue scrolling down if you're just interested in browsing, or you can use the categories in order to find what you're looking for. You will see these different categories here at the top page, such as things to do, beauty and spas, travel, health and fitness, automotive, goods, and then food and drink as well. So you can click on one of these in order to go into the category. And you can sort further. For example, you can sort by relevance, the price, or the distance it is from you. And then you can also look at different categories. For example, we're looking at goods right now, but we can also look at pet supplies, or we can go back to looking at all the deals. There's also the other option to go to the categories drop down menu at the top of the page. And by clicking on this arrow, you can see the different categories. So there is a local category, goods, hotels and travel, and then coupons as well. And within each of these categories, there are more categories. There are lots of categories going on in this website. So if we are in the coupon section, you may wanna look into Amazon or eBay or Best Buy, and you can just click on them and it will take you directly there. But if you want to, go local, you can look into the same categories that were listed at the top of the page. So if I'm interested in going sightseeing, then you can always just click on that and lots of different options will come up. From there, you can see different products and services available and you can see that they are trending if they have this trending symbol right here which means that they are popular and many people are purchasing them. And you can see a bit of different information just from the site. So you can see the percent off that you get, its price, and then you can also see how far away it is from you. Um, and some of them also have ratings as well. But if you click on them, say if we are interested in Dino Holiday, you can select different options for the type of pass that you would get. So there are family passes available for different days and you can see more options. And then you can also see things such as when the deal ends and also how many people have viewed it. And you can even give it as a gift. Um, and then you want to always read the information about the product or service itself. So about this deal the fine print, and then you can also learn more about what you will be getting out of the experience as well. So you can do this for many different options of products and services. You can explore them and see all of their information, um, as well as images of them, just in case you wanna see what you're purchasing. And then another feature that is super great I want to draw your attention to is add to wish list. So when you add something to your wish list, it's like favoriting it. And you can do so by clicking on add to wish list. And once you've done that, you will see that it's added because it says added to wish list. And if you want to unadd it, you can always just click again. And then in order to actually access your wish list, you go to the top right hand corner and click my wish list. It's a bit small, so you might have to look closely for it. Um, but then you will just see a list of the items that you've placed in, on your wish list. Maybe if you're trying to decide which product or service you want to purchase or you just want to make sure that you don't lose something you found, you can always put it into this section to easily access it at another time. There's also the recently viewed section, which allows you to see what you have looked at. So this is another great way to go back to things that you might have been looking at previously and you can't find anymore. So these um, different things will pop up here. 
and you would just go to the recently viewed section. Also, there are a few other icons here that may help you to navigate the site. You can see notifications. They will let you know of deals that you might be interested in um, or things you can save on. You can also see your shopping cart if you have items inside of it. And then you can also see the My Stuff section, which just allows you to see your Groupons, the things that you've already purchased. You can also access the wish list, as well as account preferences, preferences of the website. You can also redeem gift cards and sign out as well. And you can also change the location. Um, it will take your current location as long as you allow it to know where you are, but you can also type it in somewhere else if say you're buying something for a friend. And finally, I just wanna go over how to get the Groupon app if you wanna get it on your smartphone or tablet. So you go to get the Groupon app in the top menu bar and you click on it. And you can scan this QR code um, just by using the camera on your device. You want to hold it a bit far away from it, not too far until it registers the QR code. And then it will take you to the site that you'll be able to download it. Or you can text me the link instead. And by clicking on this blue button, you can type in your phone number and receive the link. Thank you very much for listening to today's presentation. If you would like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, you can go to the website or call the phone number in order to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday.